Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, create and use multiple documents in Word uh, and uh, having multiple writers on the same document also in Word and sharing everything over Dropbox. You could use a number of different file sharing utilities but uh, at the moment I'm using Dropbox and I'm happy with it. The reason I'm making this video is because I've been uh, involved in a project where we were using something called LaTeX, as you can see here on the screen. And um, what you're looking at right now is actually a project report written by multiple users and there's simply just a lot of, well, there's a very steep learning curve uh, involved in using LaTeX. However, it's a, it's a great program, but we just feel there's a lot of stuff missing and it it's not as flexible as uh, we used to when working with Word, for example. And when you, this is just some random bits of text from the file you can see, you can't really see what's going on. And to be able to see what's going on, you have to compile it every time. Um, the output, well, it's great. And um, as my LaTeX instructor told me, or teacher, that's how I want it. <laughs> If the pictures aren't showing where I placed them, they are probably moved to the next page. And that's just the way I want it. I just don't know it yet. That might be true, but I still don't know it. So we've been working on some alternatives and uh, we found that the uh, word can do the same thing. And even over Dropbox. So let's get into it. In Word, this is this has been a possibility since Word or Office 2007. And uh, on this computer I'm using 2013, but it is just as come, no, 10 on my laptop I'm using 13. But it's just as, uh, easy as it ever was. So 2007, 2010 and 2013 can work together on this. So to be able to start, this is a Dropbox as you clearly can see. Regular old Dropbox, a lot of random files and we're going to work in this. I have set up two users. Uh, one user is already writing there. You can see his file name is user1. Well, that's just fictional, but let's just call it a intro thing. There we go. User number two is writing more content. And uh, we could add more users along the way and if we needed to, more files. The main thing is, in this folder just above the users, normally you would create a, a master file uh, right here. And this this submaster is the folder I would share collaboratively with my uh, co-workers or friends who are working on this same master document. <laughs> However, the problem in Word is it does not save relative paths. So... If I were to edit this file, Word would go through this link. C, users, Martin, Dropbox. And that's no good because the people I work with do not have the folder called Martin. And if they, well, they might be using a different language on their system as well. And even their Dropbox folder might be a different setup. So the full link won't work. And I'm afraid that's where LaTeX is superior. 
it's able to work with relative pads. So in order for this to work, uh, you could create a master here where everybody is working together. However, if you want to see how your personal progress is in the entire rep record, you would have to create your master one step above the one you're sharing. So at the moment, so each person has to create their own master. And we are going to do that now. New, let's see, Word document, master, last. So the way you start it, well, no mind the language, it's the same. Uh, this one is Danish and the buttons should be the same regardless unless you have made some personal customizations. This should say view and this should say uh, outline. And you would end up with something like this. This is where you control your chapters, headings, uh, not headings, sections. And since we already have one user writing uh, the subsection, or the intro, sorry, we're going to uh, let's see, add a chapter at first. Let's just call it chapter one. We, we're going to let him write the, the main chapter. So we're going to, this should say insert in uh, English. Remember to click this show document insert and then you simply browse to the guy writing the intro and what it's asking here is that he is using a different type of letter font coloring than the master document and uh, it's basically asking would you change the sub document and yes, you want because you will want to be able to control everything from the head document, the master document. Okay, and you, as you can see, it's just dropped in whatever he has written. Next guy, that's uh, user two. He is writing on chapter two again. That way, we can control from the master document how everything is going to look. And as you can see. Everything is uh, working in order. Now, here's the problem. I'm going to add chapter 3. And I'm going to save this master document. When I log into my folder, uh, chapter 3 has disappeared. There's no chapter 3 at the moment. Usually it would create a chapter three in the same folder as the master file. So in order to get this to work, you have to make chapter three first, then insert it. And when you close everything, you see here, this is uh, well, basically the finished document. Uh, chapter one, intro, chapter two, three, because we had uh, the disposition. This guy has also added an image, as you can see here, but the image do not show here. But when you close it, it shows right there. And now this document is made up of two different documents. It could, in theory, be made up by hundreds and made by hundreds of users. I want to create a index for the file and you just click as usual. And as you can see, the titles are being brought to the index from each chapter written by each user. And you are actually able to modify things in the head file as well, master file. And as you can see, it's updating. User 1 file. User 2 file. 
and uh, the master file. So it shouldn't be a problem using Word as an alternative to LaTeX. Pros and cons, yes, there are many. Uh, if you create a file in a 2010 and one of your users is using uh, 2007, you have to save as 2007 compatible. Uh, LC won't be able to open it. However, if he is writing in 2007, he should save as usual, and uh, anyone can create a master file and edit that with whatever version they have. You just need to remember your personal master file on the computer has to be in a section above what is shared because you cannot share the master file because there's not at the moment word is not accepting relative paths and if you don't know what a relative path is this as you can see master blaster is laying in the folder called ms office master that means i should be able to write submaster user one nice titling intro thing dot x because right now the master file is right here it should not be necessary to write everything before it but it is unfortunately we can try and delete some of it but it won't allow it so in short word can easily replace however the master file is not editable by all users you have to create a master file on each system or computer that way it will be possible and each user can just work in his own document as always there's no limit to the amount of users um, some might claim that a word uses more ram i've made a few tests and uh, i don't see it because uh, <laughs> Our last LaTeX project was uh, 170, 97 megabytes or something compiled, uh, and the PDF report itself was uh, 8.1 megabytes. So I'm a bit confused how it works, uh, whereas uh, Word uses about the same memory. So if you're able to use LaTeX, you should be able to use Word and the other way around. I hope it helps and uh, thanks for watching guys comment rate subscribe and don't worry I'll be back with some gaming soon